Nigel Farage has mercilessly mocked France for throwing its toys out of the pram over a deal to supply Australia with nuclear-powered submarines. Emmanuel Macron reacted furiously after it emerged that Scott Morrison's government was reneging on a £65 billion deal it signed with the French to instead update its aging submarine fleet with help from the US and UK. The new trilateral security partnership is called AUK-US and is widely seen as an attempt to curtail growing Chinese power in the region. It drew a predictably hostile response from Xi Jinping's regime, which said the governments involved should shake off their Cold War mentality and ideological prejudice. While this reaction was predictable, the escalating war of words with France, which has its own strategic interests in the region, was more surprising. So too was Mr. Macron's reaction after he took the unprecedented step of recalling his US and Australian ambassadors. The UK counterpart remains in place, in a move which has been dubbed a slight by some commentators, and while the French have vowed to hold the Australians to account for the deal it signed with them, Mr. Farage pointed to the apparent elephant in the room. He claimed that Mr. Morrison's government had snubbed the French Republic because it was offering outdated military technology in the form of diesel-powered subs. Tweeting his reaction to the news this morning, the GB News host added, the French have thrown their toys out of the pram and withdrawn their ambassadors from the USA and Australia. French tech was way out of date and EU states do not suit the 21st century, the Anglosphere is back and they hate it. Former newspaper editor Kelvin McKenzie was equally full of glee. He tweeted, this is getting better and better. A quite unhinged Mr. Macron has recalled his Washington ambassador in the fallout of the end subs defense pact between the UK, US and Oz. France planned to make billions out of flogging the Aussies clapped out subs until we turned up. Fantastic. Queen Margrethe II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.